Ew. That sucker has been leaking. Hey guys, this is my Xbox One. The original Xbox. Today we're going to be taking the clock capacitor out. And this one was manufactured October 10th, 2002. I've done some major upgrades to this sucker. Starting with its Executor 2 mod chip, the mod inside Joule. Um, I think this is 0 0.03 millimeter aluminum. Um, the original... You know, the original Xboxes are all the big black X and it had a green kind of Xbox dome in here. I've also put LEDs inside of each of these, and, and this ring too has been replaced, each of these ports. And although, you know, aged and kind of crusty and dusty, it was really cool at the time. Um, it's still cool. Uh, this is not a Thompson, it's a Philips uh, DVD drive. And it reads plus R. Doesn't like minus R's too much, but it likes plus R's. And today we're gonna take it apart and do the uh, the capacitor. Starting with the bottom screws. Now you can see that I have been in here so many times. I just cut the rubber feet off. Now I have a blue piece of paper in here because there is a on off switch for the light and you can see it's a, a halo ring light this is separate from the jewel this just fits around it it was not part of it but it just fit so i used it i don't even know where my original jewel is so this is just some mirror construction paper and this is a 250 gig drive um, IDE but we need to strip this sucker down I uh, never used my screw anymore but I did add a small gray wire for one of the fan wires this also has the 12 volt mod not the 5 volt And I just remove this and I cut out a section here so I could fit that in there and you can see I've wired the crap out of it for all the front USB ports here that over the years runs directly to the power supply so our <sighs> needs to be cleaned really good yep so I don't have the screws in it, looks like. I haven't been in here in years. So. GPU fan. Here's the mod chip. Now, I was going to do the pin header, but at the time I only did the, the one. And I have wires running underneath and on the side. And so, yep. But, as you can see by the capacitive damage here this is my clock capacitor so we're going to be pulling that bad boy out it's got some scuzz already and some battery damage looks like it's up to here so far so we're going to get it out of here neutralize it and then we'll be good to go stay tuned to get this board out we got to remove the front usb plate actually the whole thing i think it just pops out of here i haven't done this in so long i forget Let me get back to you on that. The front just pops off. You stick a screwdriver in here and pop this down. Um, pulling up on this board right here, we unplugged the Executor Tooth front panel. Flipped it to the side here. And now we're going to remove all the motherboard screws. I did take one out. Look at this. Ew. That sucker has been leaking. So we desoldered it from underside of the board here, just with a little bit of braiding and heat, and it pops right out. 
So with that, we're gonna take some IPA. We're gonna get my solder station ouch, out of the way. And we're gonna give this sucker uh, a cleanup in slow motion. So anyway, here I'm I'm isolating the board. I, I did record this, but I think I did the whole damn thing in slow motion. I was wondering what was going on with the focus. So this area I removed, uh, we had some crustiness right here near the tip of this toothbrush or right in, right in this area. So I'm just going through scraping. I thought there was some board etching and there may be, but it looks like it's just some general crust that I have to get in there and, and get around. If I have to dob some solder on a couple of these parts, I will, but we're just gonna go through and scrub and scrape and clean and make sure we don't have it too bad. Clean it up, we'll give the whole board, which is just generally dirty, a once over, and uh, get it back in shape. But it doesn't look like the damage is bad at all, and this one will live again. Okay, so, as you can see, as I did the close up, it's been cleaned up, everything's fine. Um, all the crusty acid has been neutralized with IPA, and I fluxed it, and then I cleaned it again, and it looks good uh, all the joints are okay there's no there's no circuit board damage but years ago I wired in this mod chip um, this is an executor 2 and I want to remove this braid the board and I'm gonna do the pin header mount with the chip sitting the other way and we won't need the wire mod after this so we will need the little two pinner for the ground and the white. That is a double wire for the executor two. The or the regular one goes on this slot, and the when you're doing a pin header, it goes here. So this just clicks in here like that, and that gives you your ground and your bottom gray. And there we go. So with our pin headers clear, we're gonna need six, but you're gonna knock one of the pins out. So I'm just gonna count off to one, two, three, four, five. That way you'll have your pin header will sit right in here now. Ta-da, just like that. Right here. And now we'll flux and solder these in on this side. So I'm going to run a bead. And then we're going to pop some on there. And don't worry about too much flux because it's not going to hurt. Too much flux will never hurt nobody. Okay, so I'm going to take a few moments and try and clean this scuzzy old stuck sticker off the executor too. So we can mount it in here. And it's going to go in like this. Like I said, this wire that the silver keeps falling out of will when we put the screw back in this will be bent up and go in here like this then the screw goes in for ground alright so I got the chip cleaned off it was very fun um, in case you're wondering why I did the alternate D0 point uh, this is a 1.1 Xbox manufactured in 2002 October um, I did the alternate D0 because I think when I was in my 20s and I did this one I effed up the fiber pen I think I blew out the uh, contact spot I still see the hole but I just see white I don't see any solder points so that's why I did the extended
There we go. Okay, so what does it look like when it's uh when it's on? Let's go uh, power it up, test it out. Is that I don't have the screws in here yet? Because just in case I screwed something up and it doesn't work, I can take it back apart. So we have the RGBY component, PR, power. We're gonna slide this in. Now I do have the the case lights on for the cabinets here, but I'm gonna I'm gonna plug a controller in. There we go. You see the mod inside ring lights up. Plugging a controller in here. You'll see a light right here. And on my TV screen, got Xbox. The Executor 2 live screen is loading. And there's my Slayer's D-Box. And I can you know, go to all my game trainers and, you know, run through them. And uh, I've seen this Windows CE, Next Gen, System Management. This is a custom uh, menu I made long ago for the mod chip light on. If I plug it into port 2, port 2 will light up. If I plug it into port 3 or port 4, it would light up. These are just USB. You can use them on any port, but it's port 1. And I'll put it back in. I'll put the screws in in a minute. Okay, so here we go. We're going to launch System Management MS Dashboard. So we load the MS Dashboard from Execure Evolution X and that way I can go into settings and set the time because it's the year 8907. Next, well you do the back start and the other two buttons like the L, the, the these two on the mini and then the two top triggers. So start back and L2 or L1, R1 and it will reboot the Xbox mod inside. So it's back in business and we're good to go. You can see the reflection of the, the cabinet LEDs above. So thanks for watching everybody and I hope you learned something.